My grandmother, my father's mother, died at the age of twenty-two. She got tuberculosis, there was a belief that if you live on a hilltop, you may get healthy. It's in about eight months' time, she passed away. Penicillin could have saved more than two hundred million lives in about fifty years' time. Tyranny means you have no concern for any other life than yours. What soil has given you is not just food. It is soil which is your body. It is soil which is this cloth. It is soil which is everything here, isn't it? Anything and everything. Well, this dirty soil has been your medicine also. The first antibiotic which we call as penicillin comes from soil fungus. It's estimated the advent of pen penicillin could have saved more than two hundred million lives in about fifty years' time. It comes from soil. Streptomycin, without which millions would have died of tuberculosis. My grandmother, my father's mother died at the age of twenty-two, when my father was just about four years or just over four years of age. She got tuberculosis, a wealthy family, but there's no treatment. So they made a small house for her on top of a small hill, because there was a belief that if you live on a hilltop, if you breathe pure air, you may get healthy. So they put her there and she got worse and worse in about eight months' time, she passed away. This was the normal process in the previous generations. This penicillin and streptomycin together might have saved something like four hundred to five hundred million lives in one generation. All this is from soil and there are any number of other things. Why go like this separately? Just everything that you know as life, everything that you know as material that you are using is soil. Yes or no? A time has come where if we don't attend to it, it may freak on us. There is no may anywhere, anymore. It will freak on us. If we don't make a serious effort to turn it around, it will freak on us. The word yoga means this. Spirituality means this, that your experience of life is not limited to the boundaries of your body. If it was so, if it was so for every human being, how could you miss the terrible screaming of the land? The land is screaming. I've uh, sat for hours and days in forests, not just being alive, but being high, intoxicated, drunk with life, because life is buzzing with great exuberance. Most of the life you won't see, but the same if you walk on various other parts of the world, the land is screaming with pain. It's not something that you make up in your head. Life is screaming. A butcher who chops off large animals, he doesn't hear the scream of the animal. Hello? There are many people who kill other human beings, they don't hear the screams and pains of those people. Those who rape and murder, you think they heard the screams? 
then go. Maybe the ear heard, but it doesn't go anywhere. So a butcher who slaughters animals, he doesn't hear the scream of the animals. One who chops off trees and whatever else, other live things, he doesn't hear that. Similarly, one who is busy destroying life invisible, he doesn't hear that. That doesn't mean it's not there. So, we are at a crucial time. If you do things right in the next ten to fifteen years, you will have the satisfaction of seeing something significant happening. It's not fireworks will happen, it'll happen quietly. It'll happen very quietly. You need to understand this. Even when major events were happening, let's say India's freedom struggle is happening, worst kind of exploitation has happened to the country and to the people. People are being treated like dogs. Everywhere in India, boards, Indians and dogs not allowed. Most places, restaurants, clubs, all important places. And if you go to any office, you may be anything, you may be rich, you may be educated, but if you want to sit on a chair, you need a, a permit from the government that you can sit on the chair, otherwise you have to sit on the floor. You had to have a permit, a printed permit, otherwise you can't sit on a chair. Even though they treated you that bad, only about twenty percent of the people approximately fought for freedom. Other eighty percent, anyway, somebody's fighting. <laughs> Are you going to be that eighty percent, I'm asking? <laughs> when things have to be done, you must stand up and do it. In Kannada, there's a saying, Hena bidru hegel kodal vante. That means, if, if somebody is dead, there's a corpse has to be carried. In India, always you need four people to carry your corpse, that's a respect. Minimum four people must carry. When four people are carrying, there is one guy who will not take the weight, who will simply go like this. <laughs> are you that guy? Please don't be that one, because you will lie… you will die unfulfilled in your life. It doesn't matter, extra weight, it's tough, but it's fulfilling that you are not that guy who escapes that thing. Don't be that. As a generation of people, we should not be that. That is when we can have the kind of world that we want to live in. Otherwise, we will live in a world that is created by tyrants of various kinds. Don't think only Adolf Hitler, Mussolini, somebody, somebody. Tyrants are there everywhere. It may come in the form of industry, it may come in the <laughs> form of uh, a political leader, it may come in the form of yourself, who knows? Tyranny means you have no concern for any other life than yours. That's tyranny, isn't it? Hello? Tyranny does not mean you… you're a dictator in a country. I don't think most of you have that capability to be a dictator, it's not easy. Tyranny simply means you have no concern for any other life but yours. This is tyranny. I… I want you to not just do something for this hundred days and make this moment happen, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you to become a sensitive life because without sensitivity, sensitivity there is no life. That's about it. But being human means many, many possibilities, highest level of sensitivity. If you don't exhibit that, then your humanity comes to question. This is not about save soil movement. Your humanity comes to question, your spirituality definitely a big question mark. Because if you don't feel for anything, how is it going to work? I only feel for this one. What does it mean? My boundaries are set, isn't it? My boundaries are set like a concrete block, nothing beyond that. Don't become like that. This is a great opportunity 
for you to make yourself little more conscious than where you are right now. 